Today we're in Costa Rica at Envision, an immersive art, music, and lifestyle festival where people experiment with personal identity and community. This is an ideal environment to learn about the Zendo Project and psychedelic first aid. These types of gatherings are transforming people. And it's kind of like a yoga class where you bring in the people who need to stretch. A lot of people who need these gatherings are trying to find a magical world because their world is so hollow and empty. People are tripping out here. Yeah. It's intense. People have guttural experience. And people are getting rid of some yeah. yuck in them yeah. too. And so in the Zendo, we don't condone or condemn drug use. We simply admit that it exists. The harm reduction approach says, yeah, people do use drugs, so how can we keep people safe? Humans do risky behaviors. We have to be responsible to that. Sometimes in the festival scene, it's a little bit too much noise, too much stimulation. You could turn that difficult experience into something that lasts a long time instead of moving through it to where you actually get the benefit of what that experience was all about. So Zendo is a place that uh, people can come and act out their experiences in a good, safe way. Individuals and communities have been choosing psychedelic substances for thousands of years. Psychedelics are a catalyst for transformation. Since the 1960s, psychonauts have preached the personal growth benefits of LSD. In the next five or ten years, we expect that between 20 and 30 million Americans will be using LSD regularly. Recent studies, including research from the Beckley Foundation at Imperial College London, corroborated that the psychedelic experience allows the brain to communicate with itself in unconventional ways. Those altered state perspectives teach us about ourselves and teach us about the world. I mean, we are all somewhere on the spectrum of transformation. And the Zendo as an organism is right there. The reason that I got into this work, I had my own challenging experience. It actually included a psychotic break. Months it took me to get In some ways it's me repaying the favor, and in other ways it's me taking that experience and helping the larger community to know that we, if people accidentally end up in those places that we can be brought back home without extreme situations like police or paramedics. Unfortunately in our society we don't have a lot of alternatives to hospitalization when things get really intense for someone whether they're on a psychedelic or they're in a psychotic or a schizophrenic state. Mental health is not emphasized as much as like physical health but we want people to know that healing can occur from getting through the dark night. Zendo is based on four fundamental concepts. We are there to hold space for the unfolding of whatever needs to happen. Holding space means creating a container for somebody to do their work. There are certainly experiences where we as a group have to hold literal space getting people out of the way so that uh, others aren't hurt and people aren't hurting themselves. One of the principles that I find most meaningful in the Zendo is this idea of sitting, not guiding. How did you come up with just even the idea of sitting rather than guiding? Taking a substance or, or not, people have an inner healing intelligence, a knowledge, an intuition that guides them on their path. There's a belief that people have that to heal themselves and to be whole and to be on their right path, however that looks for them. Allowing the experience to be what it is without controlling or dominating it. A lot of people, they think they're there to guide. We don't want them to get out of their situation. We want them to get through their situation. That difficult is not the same as bad is really uh, based in this paradigm of understanding psychedelics. Because they're in a non-normal state, they can't really grant consent. So we just let them give the direction. Even if you think they're in a dark place and you can take them to a light place, you don't know because you can't be in it with them. We have to be very sensitive not to change the trajectory of how that experience is going. To have that grounded experience, that can really transform challenging into transformative. So what's happening is Medic and the Zendo working together. Professionals supporting your transformation. Yeah, to look you and feel you and know you and love you and care about you rather than pinning you down yeah. and like, you know, oh my God, wake up, dude, it's all yeah. right, it's all right. You're gonna go back to that <laughs> fucked up, shitty world that you were in before, don't worry. The best thing for me is knowing that all the little small gestures that we did really made such an impact for that person. That's really amazing to be able to connect with people our age from other parts of the world mm -hmm. that are still having similar experiences. 